William Sefton Morehouse was a British-born New Zealand politician. He was the second superintendent of Canterbury Province. Morehouse was born in Yorkshire, England, and baptized on December 18, 1825, the oldest son of William Morehouse, a magistrate, and his wife, and Carter. He trained as a lawyer, entering as a student at the Middle Temple in November 1847, and was called to the bar in November 1860. After working for a time in London, he moved to Littleton, New Zealand, with his two brothers in 1851. Soon afterwards, he moved to Wellington, where he resumed his law practice. He married Jane and Collins on December 15, 1853 in Old Street. Pauls, Wellington. He then briefly travelled to Australia, leaving with his wife on the Bark Tory on 16 December for Melbourne. He subsequently returned to Littleton, and then moved to Christchurch, where he acted as a lawyer, magistrate, newspaper editor, and ship owner. One of his sisters, Sarah Ann Morehouse, married William Barnard Rhodes. Another, Lucy Ellen Sykes Morehouse, married John Studham. Another, Mary Morehouse, married Thomas Henry Wigley. Morehouse was active both in national and provincial politics, and later was a mayor of Wellington. Morehouse was elected to represent Akaroa in the first New Zealand Parliament, and remained an MP until his death. In his parliamentary career, he represented the Akaroa, Heathcote, Westland, Westland Boroughs, Christchurch and Ashley electorates. In the 1866 election, he had won both the Mount Herbert and Westland electorates, and chose to represent the latter. At the December 21, 1875 election, he stood in the city of Christchurch electorate for the 6th New Zealand Parliament. He was returned in third position in this three-member electorate. The other members returned in the election were Edward Richardson and Edward Cephas John Stevens. The Westland Representation Act 1867 introduced changes to the Waimea and Westland electorates. Their areas were reassigned and four electorates formed. As a result, Westland was abolished in 1867, a new electorate was established, and the act stipulated that the sitting member was transferred to it. Other new electorates, for which by-elections were to be held, were Westland North and Westland South. Morehouse resigned from Westland Boroughs on February 20, 1868, and William Henry Harrison won the resulting by-election. Statue of Morehouse in the Christchurch Botanic Gardens Morehouse represented Christchurch from the 1870 by-election to the 1871 election. He stood unsuccessfully for Egmont in the 1872 by-election, then successfully for Ashley from the 1879 election to 1881. In the provincial elections of August 1853, Morehouse stood in the Akaroa electorate for one of two positions on the Canterbury Provincial Council. There was a draw for second place and the returning officer gave his casting vote to the other candidate, Rev. William Aylmer. A week earlier, Morehouse had stood in the same electorate for the House of Representatives and had been successful. In 1855, Morehouse was first elected to the Canterbury Provincial Council. From March to July 1855, he represented the Akaroa electorate on the first council. He later served as the province's superintendent after James Fitzgerald resigned from the superintendency in October 1857 due to illness. Morehouse and Joseph Britton contested the vacancy, and had obtained 727 and 352 votes, respectively. During the 1857 election he supported construction of the Littleton Rail Tunnel although both Britain and Fitzgerald thought such a long expensive. Tunnel too risky for a small colony and favoured a longer rail connection via Sumner with a short tunnel or a horse tramway over Gollins Pass. He served as superintendent until February 1863, and another term from May 1866 to May 1868. After his first superintendency, he represented the Kaapoi electorate as a provincial councillor from March to October 1863, and then represented the Heathcote electorate from February 1864 to May 1866. From 27 October to November 17, 1863, he was a member of the Canterbury Executive Council. He was mayor of Wellington in 1875, and died in Wellington on September 15, 1881. He had diabetes, and had had an operation for an abscess. After a funeral in Wellington his body was returned to Christchurch for a funeral and then burial at Ricarton. The Legislative Council adjourned as a mark of respect. A statue to him in Christchurch was proposed. He was survived by his wife Jane and five children. The children were a son William Harold Sefton, three daughters Alice Jane, Hilda, and Jessie, and a child born in 1865 whose name was not recorded on the birth entry. In 1904, 
the South Belt or South Town Belt in Christchurch was renamed Morehouse Avenue in honor of the former superintendent. Each Christchurch Avenue around the central city is named for one of the former superintendents, and it was thought appropriate to rename the South Belt for Morehouse. As it was parallel to the railway line and continued via ferry road towards the railway tunnel, two projects that were closely linked to Morehouse. The eastern continuation of the South Belt was called Junction Street or Junction Road, until its intersection with Ferry Road. In 1909, this section was incorporated into Morehouse Avenue. Julius von Haas named the Morehouse Range and Sefton Peak in the Southern Alps after Morehouse. Morehouse and Sefton Streets in the Wellington suburb of Wadestown are also named for him. A statue of Morehouse, made by George Anderson Lawson in London in 1885, is located in the Christchurch Botanic Gardens. Thanks for watching.